Okay, this is Mario Knapp and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is a follow-up video of one that I did about eight or nine years ago. I'll put that link for that one in the uh, links below. And uh, this shows how to hide a tile floor crack. And this is an update because um, things have changed. The tile crack became much larger. See, it's filled in over here on that tile. This one was actually much worse than this one. This is actually a little thinner now, the crack. And then the crack actually goes down two more tiles that way and three more tiles that way. So in um, the process I used the last time does not work because the crack is too big. So we're going to do it a little differently this time. Instead of using caulk, we're going to fill this with Blue. Okay, so this is the, the glue that you would use, like an Elmer's glue, or you could use a wood glue like this. I don't, this one actually, the, this one might be even better, but top broke. So what you do is, Open this up to the fine point there. You want to get some paper towels ready. And what you want to do is fill the crack with the wood glue. Wood glue goes turns clear when it dries. You can see it's a little white when you first apply it. I'm gonna wipe off the excess. I want it to sink into the crack. Now fill the crack. This is. I tried doing this with caulk like I did last time. Okay, so let's, let's wipe off the excess. And kind of push it into the into the hole, into the crack. And it's important you get all this excess glue up. Use water and paper towel. Now wood glue is water soluble so okay so now what we're gonna do is I got grout and I bought a grout at Lowe's to match the color of the tile. So what I am doing is filling, topping this off with the grout. You see the grout's going to make this Lowe's has many different color grout shades. I'll probably speed through this so you don't have to see me do the whole thing. So what the grout does, not only does it color it, But it gives it some some body. It's not going to color it completely. So I'm going to let that sit for a few minutes, and I'll come back. 
off the extra grout. see it's not completely covered that's okay We're not done yeah, grout the other grout lines now you match the grout to the tile not to the grout you have obviously There's a lot of grout down there and still pick up Also gives the paint something to stick to. Alright. Now the next step let's fill in. Next step is to use the paint. This is from, it's a Glidden eggshell paint that I got from Home Depot. I brought an old tile in to match. If you don't have an old tile that you can match it with, then um, get paint chips from the store and get as close to match as you can. Now it's going to look a little lighter, but once I put it down, it'll, it'll darken when it dries. This is the same paint I used eight or nine years ago, whenever that was. I'll check the date on the video. I'm using a Q-tip. If you have a paintbrush, it's even, then paintbrush is even better. speed through this so you don't have to watch the whole thing. See this uh, paint's pretty old. It's an eggshell, low luster. And the reason why you want the low luster because it won't get as dirty, and um, you just have a flat paint. Okay, so now we're going to start taking some of this off.
to take too much off. I think I took a little too much off on that last swipe. And then I usually do sometimes three coats. Careful you don't get paint all over yourself doing this. It's always best to let it dry a little bit so you don't wipe it all off. Looks pretty good down here. See, I took off a little too much down there. Let me get some paper, wet paper towel. And I'll clean it up a little bit. I tried the, uh, there's another video on the internet where they used nail polish. And I went to the store, I bought two different kinds of nail polish to try to match the color, and I just couldn't do it. I couldn't get the color to match. These uh, machines they use at Home Depot, or Lowe's, to match the paint really work well. So how long is this going to last? Well, it's going to last until the crack continues to widen. I don't know how long that is. It depends on your specific situation. When you're doing this, try to get something that's comfortable to lean on. The guy up here, kneel on rather. I think the second coat works because it's better than the first. Because you have something better to stick to. The other crack back there was compound crack. It was two lines actually. It was actually pretty bad. See the cabinets over there, the crack actually extends beyond that cabinet. Probably gonna turn into a sinkhole someday. Wind up in the bottom of a pit. Okay. Give it a couple of minutes to dry. We'll take this off. So this method is not perfect, but um, it hides, I would say, 95% of the crack so that you don't, it doesn't catch your eye every time you walk into the room, which is this, this one was doing. It was extremely annoying. I mean, you just couldn't, couldn't, couldn't not see it. Now you have to you have to really look for it.
key with this paint is to get the match good. And if you take a tile in, or even if you use a paint chip from the store to get you where you need to be. This is looking pretty good. Now, if you have extra cracks, I mean tiles, yeah, extra cracks, and you want to have somebody professional replace them, uh, do it. I don't have enough tiles to fix all the cracks I have, and, and I can't find them anymore. They're not, tiles aren't made, they're out of production. So, I'm let this go for a minute, dry up. I think this looks pretty good. It'll look better when it dries. Because as I mentioned before, as, as anybody who painted the wall knows, paint darkens when it dries. I think that's enough for the commentary. If you have any comments, questions, leave comments and um, I will answer them. I'm still answering questions about the first video, so stay tuned here and I'll show you what it looks like after it dries. So I'll show you what the final shot looks like when all four are repaired. Stay tuned.